Hello, thank you for joining me. I haven't been to this station before. I haven't come here to get a train. We're going to walk through the town centre. We're going to go and get a bus. We're now at Haven't Bus Station. Haven't been to this bus station before either. We're catching a bus and we're going across the sea. You're probably thinking, is this video making any sense? Well, it's exactly what we're doing. We're getting a bus across the sea to Hailing Island and we're going to explore the railways that are there now and the railways of the past. And I think this might be my bus. Here we are at the Hailing Railway. This is East Stoke Station. It's a two foot narrow gauge railway which runs along the seafront for about a mile. So I just got to wait for the train to arrive. When I got off the bus, it was really raining quite hard. So I've had to sit in that shelter for 10 minutes, but it seems to have stopped raining. It's just still quite windy. So I'm gonna go and um, buy my ticket and enjoy a trip on the Hailing Railway. train at Hailing Island. I've got my ticket for a return up the line to Beechton, so it's about a mile. It runs, um, well you've got the housing estates on that side and um, we'll sh I'll show you as we go along, but you've got the coast on the other side. And then once I've had the return trip, I'm going to walk along beside the railway so we can have a good look at the stations once we're off the train and maybe see the train go past. So now it's time for a trip along the Hailing Coast.
Oh, this is Pete swims the other end of the line. There's Jack, our locomotive, which is about to run round the train. Jack was built in 1988 by Alan Keith up at Ross on Wye. So it's a diesel loco, but built to look like a steam engine. So we're going to watch Jack run round, then we're going to enjoy the trip back. It's a bit of an unusual backdrop to a station, a roller coaster, but that shows we're at the Great British Seaside. I've just had a great little trip on the hailing railway behind Jack, there and back. It's just about a mile, so about two miles of haulage. First narrow gauge railway of 2021. I'm going to go and um, walk along the track bed now, so we'll have a look at the stations on the way. And then we're going to go and find the old hailing station, and we're going to walk along the old railway back to Haven. I enjoyed my trip on the Hailing Railway. I'm just looking out across the sea. I can see the Isle of Wight in the distance and that way's Portsmouth. I'm only crouching behind this wall just to get out the wind. So um, if I stand up, it might get windier, but I'll just have to shout. So yeah, Portsmouth that way, Isle of Wight over there. Now, this is East Stoke Corner. The railway starts here. There was a miniature railway here once as well. I don't know a lot of information, but I have seen there was somewhere around here a miniature railway. So I'm going to now walk along beside the hailing railway and um, we'll visit the intermediate station and then we're going to head inland and find the old station of the old hailing billy railway line which ran from Haven all hundreds of holiday makers to hailing island So, 
As I walk beside the Hailing Island Railway, um, we're just following the track bed. One thing I like about this line is it might run along the seafront, but it's anything but flat and it's anything but straight. As um, well, you'd have seen from the early shots on the train, but here it goes down a bit of a hill and it curves nicely round. So it's, it's quite um, just nice that it's not, you know, straight there, straight back flat railway. They have had steam here in the past, so if they were to have steam on here, it'd make quite a sight climbing this gradient. So as for this railway um, and the relation with the original Hayley Billy, the standard gauge line, which we are going to walk along, we just got to uh, stop, look, listen and beware of the trains. When it closed, we'll get more onto the history of that railway when we get over there. When it closed, there was talk of it being preserved. There was also talk of laying a two-foot gauge railway along the track bed. But when the railway became a cycleway, um, it pretty much ended any hope of having trains running along there again. So it was thought, well, why not build a railway along the seafront? So in the 1980s, the idea was around it eventually was built. There have been a few changes up at the other end. At one point there was talk of extending the line down to the other end of the island to connect with a ferry to Portsmouth, but um, seeing as that ferry no longer runs, that's probably unlikely to happen. But it is it's a really nice little trip. I really enjoyed it. Travelling along the seafront. The wind's getting up now, so I'm going to continue to walk along not far away from the railway. I'm going to show you the intermediate station. Then I'm going to head inland and find the old hailing station. Here we are, the Midway station. The only station on Hailing Island that's not a terminus. A fruit, the only fruit station is quite proud to, to be here. I'm not going to catch a train, but I'm just going to um, sit down. Just sit down and have a rest. I'm not going to wait for a train though, because I might have a wait of uh, quite a long time. So, I'm going to then head inland. We're going to go and find the site of Hailing Station. I've just come down this attractive avenue away from the seafront towards the old railway station at the other end of the avenue. There was a brown tourist sign, it said Station Theatre. So, um, that provided a fairly obvious clue. So, when we get to here, in front of us, is that station theatre so i'll have a quick look at that in a moment oh yeah look station road so this is station road so the main town centre is that way we're going to cross here there's an interpretation board there so that is what the station would have once looked like now we have the station theatre so have a look that good shed that has survived, the rest of the station has been demolished, but the good shed has survived, they've extended around it and it's now the station theatre, so that's really quite nice. You know, it's survived, it's got a new use, um, there's a few more pictures. That's what we're going to go and find, it's like that old bridge we get further up and we'll talk about the use of terriers on the line. So I've now got a five mile walk back to Havant, um, so this, just have one little look here. There you go, the station theatre. Clearly see the old good shed. So probably the buffer stop could have been somewhere where I'm standing. The platform would have been along here. Um, the little terrier would have run round her train and um, worked back to Haven. So the Hailing Billy Trail begins. Once we get further down there, I'll tell you a bit more about this line, how it came about and when it closed. So here we are, we're on the old um, Hailing Billy track bed proper. So this railway, it was known as the Hailing Billy. It was first authorised in 1860 and um, eventually opened to freight in 1865 and finally passengers in 1867. There was a few problems with the railway. The contractor tried to cut a few corners and um, tried to save money and it all backfired on them. They had problems um, with the track not being up to standard various problems but it did eventually open but a legacy of it being built in that way is the bridge which we're going to find later on because um, there was a severe weight restriction on that bridge so we'll get onto that when we got there but when we get there when the line opened though finally they actually the hailing railway company 
didn't have any trains. So they got the contractors who built the line, they then contracted them to run the railway for the first four years or so. Eventually, they got their own trains. They ran as um, an independent company until 1923, when it was finally absorbed into the Southern Railway, then later on, Southern Region and British Railways. This line, though, oh, it's interesting that there appears to be a piece of old rail. Wasn't expecting to see that. So um, that was probably, there's two actually, look. There's two. Now, my guess is this was probably the distant signal for Hailing Station. Not 100% sure on that, that's purely my guess, because um, it's about where it would have been away from the station. So the railway, it basically did very, very well in the summer, but hardly any passengers in the winter, because in the summer hordes of holiday makers came and the trains ran full to standing, always, nearly always with um, the little Brighton Terriers, which um, nine of them survive now. And probably the reason nine of them survive is because of this line. They were so old, but they had to keep them in operation because they were the only suitable loco to cross the bridge, which I said we're going to see the remains of that bridge. So it is thankfully, thanks to this line, its legacy is so many terriers survive. But the problem was it basically made the money in the summer, but not in the winter. So it was recommended for closure in the beach and report. And it finally closed in November 1963. So 1963 would have been the last summer you could have come down to Hailing Island by train. There's been various talks of what to do with it. There was talk of it becoming a preserve line. That obviously hasn't happened. I think um, there was one point talk of a narrow gauge line, but that hasn't happened. As we've already seen, there is now a narrow gauge railway on Hailing Island. There's also been talk of it becoming a tramway some form of light rail. I think I'm not going to start speculating whether the line would ever reopen. Um, but if it ever did, that's probably its most likely form. But before we continue along the old track bed, let's just um, escape for a moment, see some of the green fields of Hailing and have a look at the views. You can see a little bit of sea. So that's the mainland over there, that's Portsdown. And then over there is another island, the strong island of Portsmouth where you can see most of the towers. So um, that's the video for another day, Portsmouth, and we'll go and do that. Have a look at the miniature railway model villages, etc. The site like the old Tricon Centre in Portsmouth. That, that's all for another day. I'm now going to continue along the old railway and um, see what else we can find. Well, as I continue north along the old hailing Billy line, I've talked about how a lot of people would have come on holiday on this line. Well, another a uh, big part this railway played was in the Second World War. A lot of the holiday camps and hotels were used to house troops because just over there is Portsmouth, a very well known naval city. But just have a look at this for a potential invasion of England. Pillbox has been built. So um, I always enjoy finding a pillbox. I'm not going to climb over and go in, but you can see it quite clearly. Stick the camera over the fence and in. There you go. And then, if you come out of the pillbox, come this way. If it wasn't quite so windy, that's got to be a really nice place to just sit and, you know, eat a sandwich or whatever before continuing the walk north. As I continue north, I have now come to North Hailing, the station that once stood here, or North Hailing Holt, as it really was just a halt. Imagine so, railway track straight ahead in front of me, and there'd have been a little platform just there, a little wooden platform with a wooden shelter. We'd have probably approached the station via this road. Here is now just a car park, very, very windy car park, so I have to shout. Out there were oyster beds, so farmers used the station to transport milk, all their milk churn. too so they would have bought their produce to the hole if there was a request stop so you'd have had to have put your hand out to tell the driver you wanted to stop or if you're on the train you'd have had to have told the guard that you wanted the train to stop and then you could have continued well that way to the south of Hayling or this way to Haven and here we are some pictures that's what it looked like I'm now gonna try and get out of this wind and continue on well you can see how far I've walked 3.6 kilometres from the railway station, Hailing Bridge 1.6 kilometres, 
restored signal. That's going to be exciting. 1.1 kilometers. So, got quite a lot of walking to do. And then after that, I've still got to keep walking through the suburbs of Haven um, to do the whole of the Hailing Billy Line. I've almost come to the end of the railway on Hailing Island. I've just come down here off the track bed. It's on a small embankment. There's that signal we said about, because up there, the wind is so strong, you can hardly hear what I'm trying to say. So I've come down here just to get out the wind. We will, of course, go up there and look at the signal, and then we're going to go and see the remains of the old railway bridge. But while we're down here and out the wind, you can see the old or the new road bridge, which is what we're going to go to next. Now, the railway bridge is known for its weight restriction, and that's why Terry has survived so long. The road bridge wasn't without its problems either. In 1956, they imposed a, a weight restriction on it, so all the goods had to be brought to the island by train, and bus passengers were told to get out and walk across the bridge. So, um, but unfortunately, that wasn't enough to save the railway. Right, we're going to go up and look at this signal. It's going to be really, really windy, so I'm going to shout as much as I can. Um, apologies in advance if you can't hear me. There's the signal. It's great view, it's just really windy. Once I've done this, um, boy, at the moment it is a path to nowhere. I've got to walk all the way around there and walk over the road bridge. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. To do as much track bed as we possibly can do. The only bit of the track bed we physically cannot do is the old bridge in front of us. So let's just have a look. You can see the embankment has um, disappeared. But you've got the old concrete structure still here. That's the old bridge. And there was a little bridge. So in the middle it opened to let the boat through. But well, I'm going to get this bridge, walk all the way around there, get back to the mainland. So from Hailing Island, leaving Hailing Island, we're going back to the mainland. Well, over there is the road bridge which I've just walked across, and there is the remains of the railway bridge. I was going to do a bit halfway across the bridge, but it was just so windy. Um, I was going to show you the view across here, so what I've done, I've taken some pictures, so have a look at the view from there to there now. So you see what I mean, quite an impressive view, just, you could not, there's just no point in me talking, it was even windier than it was around there. Where have we got to here? Here's a section of embankment, and on the other side it's collapsed, so um, the trains would have been above my head. Uh, uh, Terrier would have rumbled across the bridge with the carriages, and then continued. Right, we're going out into the wind, so apologies again, but it continued down here. What's quite interesting here though, you can actually see the layers of how they constructed a railway embankment. I'm now going to leave the sea behind, follow the track bed back towards Haven, preferably get there before it starts raining again. Well, we're now properly back on the mainland, come inland a bit, walked along the old railway. This is the site of Langston Station. It's been just here somewhere. The railway then went across over crossing and we're going to continue on around through the suburbs of Haven back towards the junction of Haven Station. So a bit like at North Hailing, just a small station, nothing to see at all. The railway would have gone across level crossing approximately here. I'm going to cross the road now and continue on on the final leg back towards Haven. What did I say about beating the rain? <laughs> well, there's the bypass, the but haven't bypassed. It's obviously built and they built a bridge for the railway. No tunnels on the line, but we had the bypass bridge. I could shelter there, but I've um, got to get home. So I'm just going to walk through the rain now and uh, on the final mile or so back to Haven and the junction with the main line. As we near journey's end, that is the only bridge we've been under, unless you count the bypass, but of course. That's a newer bridge. That's the, so far the only original bridge on the railway. It's taken on a completely different character. Never getting away from water though. The sea earlier, now it's rain and a boggy sort of marshland. You get that signs of old railways to become boggy. They've raised a bit up to build a path. I've just got to continue now 
through the rain, which I really could have done with coming just about an hour later. But anyway, that's what it is. It's England. You know, you can't have a day at the English seaside without it raining. So I'm going to continue back towards the junction with the main line. We have finally made it. Just over there is the main line. Here we have what probably aren't original, but level crossing inspired style gates. That's the signal box. The junction with the main line would have been just there, so you can clearly see this was a level crossing once. And that way goes down all the way to Hailing Island. But before I close the video, let's just have a look at the signal box. And just up there is Haven't Railway Station. In fact, what we're going to do, um, let's go across the crossing. We'll go over the level crossing and then um, I'll come back over the flattest footbridge. So here is the level crossing. The gates aren't flashing so we can cross. So haven't station the signal box and there's the junction. Line up to all through that way, west coast way, that way. Let's just go up here to get a view of well everything. The junction, all the junctions. So it's a bit of a complex junction here. Um, and it's, I do like an old lattice footbridge, um, which is always good to see. So, up here, I look at that and the sun's starting to come out. Haven't Station. So, it would have been a junction here, the line over there to Hailing Island, and there's another junction. Up there, there's the next station, Warblington Holt, I think that's how you say it. So, from on the bridge above Haven't Station, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to do this yourself, then you can get the train down to Haven't or drive to Haven't. I'd suggest doing it the way I did, get the bus to Hailing Island, do the railway and walk back. But if you just want to do one or the other, you can always walk and get the bus back. Or you could um, get the bus both ways and do the railway while you're there. So thank you very much. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much to Hailing Island Rail for a great day. Goodbye.